Founded in 2018, Lordstown Motors has faced a series of hurdles to get to this point. After nearly running out of money several times and the company's CFO and CEO abruptly resigning in 2021, and also the faith of the endurance pickup truck up in the air, the company is in really big trouble. So let's hop into it and talk about why I think this company is gonna go bankrupt. Historically, most startup car companies fail and that's just the matter of the fact. In modern times, Tesla actually is an anomaly. They're a co perfect combination of right, unique product market fit, good decisions, and plenty of opportunities along the way. And I think what we're seeing with Tesla is that the fact that many other EVs think that they can come into the space and, and make it also happen. Unfortunately, it doesn't work that way and many EV companies will go by the wayside. There's not enough, there's not enough room for every EV startup to succeed. And with the older car companies switching over to EVs, meaning the legacy car companies like BMW, Toyota, GMC, all switching to EVs, or creating EVs, the competition in the space is getting even more dramatic and even more dire for EV startups who don't have their product market fit correct. So Lordstown Motors initially said that their first batch of 500 endurance EV pickup trucks were gonna leave its Ohio plant in November. The company claims that 40 of them have been completed or in process, and in total they sold four, <laughs> or three EVs in Q4 and a total of six EVs through February, 2023. The initial batch that Lordstown Motors, the, the initial batch of 500 Endurance trucks that uh, Lordstown Motors said was out for delivery, the company had to voluntarily recall most of them and halt production over quality issues, which has been a complete nightmare and has, have, and has left the Endurance truck in a very weird state. Lordstown Motors has also fa faced bankruptcy several times last year, and they've been receiving essentially a lifeline from the Taiwanese electronic maker Fo Foxconn, and they backed them several times with several rounds of investments. So initially, uh, Foxconn dumped 52 million into Lordstown, and then another 170 million into Lordstown, and it's been keeping Lordstown afloat. But Foxconn uh, initially, or not initially, but recently um is looking to terminate the deal because one lordstown motor stock is continuing to get hammered and continuing to get plummeted plummeted and two uh foxconn is saying lordstown breached an agreement that they had and is looking to void the complete contract that they have all together and without this money lordstown motors is gonna go bankrupt and this is not the only reason why I say Lordstown Motors is going to go bankrupt. One is that they don't have any real sales of the product. Um, two, their main vehicle, their endurance truck, is up in the air. Three, it's every couple months this company is burning through cash and they're needing a lifeline to stay afloat. Even though they reach revenue of 194,000 uh, 194, in Q4, that's not nearly enough because they're their net losses rose to 102 million. So 194,000 in revenue to a net loss of 102 million doesn't quite balance out. Also, the company is <clears throat> expecting to end the first quarter with 150 to 170 million dollars in cash funds. So this is what they essentially use in the stay afloat and who knows how long this money is going to keep them alive for, but until they start selling trucks, until they start moving units, they're just simply a cash burning operation. Lordstown stock itself has taken quite a beating. As of the recording of this video, it is sitting at 27 cents and is down 87% of the for the year. Uh, earlier or one year ago, the stock was sitting at $1.86. As of today, it is 27 cents. What we can probably expect from Lordstown is probably a couple of reverse splits just to get the stock price up over a dollar to um, to keep up with the NASDAQ requirements and not get delisted. But besides that, it's not really clear what the future of Lordstown is in, in terms of like how they're gonna stay afloat. As, like, as I said, their net income as of March, 2023 is negative $171 million. And that is terrible. Their diluted EPS is uh, negative 71 cents. Their operating income is negative 59 million. And their, their net change in cash, they're down $13 million and their cost of revenue is $30 million. So this company is definitely not profitable at all. And 
their revenue as of March 2023 is $189,000. And like I said, their net income is negative $171 million. These numbers are not sustainable at all. And this company is going to just keep needing lifelines essentially to stay afloat. And they're going to burn through all the cash that they have on hand, unfortunately. And I don't see any sales in their um, near future, unfortunately. So I say it's only a matter of time before this company ends up getting bought out and who knows what happens with that buyout or they just completely go bankrupt but i'm not too confident in lordstown and i will admit that i did have some shares of lordstown initially i was hyped about the stock but with competitors like rivian out there and tesla it's like what's the point of going with lordstown it's a big gamble that i don't think is worth the reward but if you feel otherwise please drop a comment in the comment section below and i'll catch you all later bye